My first internship here at Adobe, I worked on Project Primrose, where we were working on this electronically configurable, dynamic, interactive dress display. And my role during that internship was to make the dress interactive and create like this magical moment for the dress as it gets revealed to the audience and to the world. And then this summer, I am working on large language models and using these models to create novel and intuitive ways for users to search and generate content in Adobe Express. So Adobe, you know, has been amazing in terms of like supporting this shift. I'm actually working with the same mentor that I worked with in Primrose, Christine Dirk. So I worked with her during my first internship and then I kind of transitioned into this new space and she also transitioned into this new space. Christine is kind of my role model in a way. I attribute a lot of the positive, super impactful experience that I've had at Adobe to being able to work with her. So a lot of times, um, you know, in academic research, like the output is a paper and you submit a paper, you get a paper accepted, you present it to your community and it's a great experience, but it kind of ends there. Whereas working at Adobe, you can actually create a much longer lasting impact of the work you're doing if it gets picked up by a certain product. Starting off at Adobe Research, I had absolutely no research, academic research experience. My mentor is Ryan Rossi, and I've been working with him for the last two years. It's a very unique relationship in that he understood that I had very little research experience, and he was okay teaching me basically from zero and investing a lot of time into me, and I think for both of us it's really paid off. My first year as an Adobe Research intern, we got our paper published in a web conference in Sydney, Australia. Traveling to Australia to present my research was definitely a surreal experience. Like a couple years back, I never would have imagined being in a scenario where I'd be presenting like research that I conducted um, in front of like an international audience. I think some advice for future interns, especially at Adobe, is make your way into spaces that you probably don't belong in. Last year, I tried to not be in areas where I felt like I couldn't contribute or couldn't say anything that I felt was relevant to what was being talked about. And I think. This year I switched that up and tried to make my way into a lot of spaces where even if I couldn't contribute, I could still sit in and listen. And then if I could contribute to make my like voice heard. My experience, I would say, is even more exciting than last year because I have more friends here because I see a lot of old faces from last year. And after a year long time, we see each other and we, we have a lot of good, good things to talk about. And another thing is I already have a project there from last year and this year is similar project following the same direction so I feel more comfortable. I know how to make it more exciting for Adobe overall. I feel like Adobe internships has its own specialty that you got a lot of chance to interact, to connect with your peers and other employees in Adobe. So. I feel like the most important thing is to be reachable, be open to all kind of conversations, all kind of communications, because you will learn from others and you will inspire by others. And even probably you can have influence on others. Join Adobe.